Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to the Bullock family. Welcome to our channel. This is our first vlog. We just excited to share with you all some of the things that we've gone through, some of the things we've learned along the way. Marriage life, getting engaged, all of that good stuff. Um, but yes, this is the Bullock family. I am Willie. <laughs> I am Desiree. And this is our beautiful daughter, Ava, Ava Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> and uh, we're just excited to share with you all. Um, but in this first vlog, we would like to just pretty much open up about how we met, how we got to be Willie and Desiree Bullock, the Bullock family. <laughs> so, yeah. well, first we met in church. Yes. <laughs> um, we met in, I think, was it Pastor Jenkins? Yes, it was. Pastor it was Jenkins Church in Greensboro, in Greensboro mm -hmm. on the Eastern Shore. And... Um, it's crazy. Let me give you a little backstory before that day real quick. But um, I lost my grandmother, my father's mother, who I was really close to as a child in August of 2001. Uh, when I lost her, um, a few years went by and it felt like a big void in my heart because I was somebody that, you know, I can just talk to. And, you know, I used to lay up on her in her bosom and fall asleep, that was somebody that was a comfort to me. So I had a void for a long time. Fast forward four years later in 2005, I was about 15 years old. Um, I get to go into my Uncle Pastor Houston's church and um, we get to fellowship, uh, go to a visiting church, uh, uh, a sister church out there in uh, Greensboro, is Eastern Shore, the Pastor Jenkins church. And I come in there and I see this woman sitting on the front pew and she looks smack like my grandma that passed. And I was like, I told my parents, I said, yo, look, it's grandma. She's <laughs> back. She's not dead. She's right there. She was dressed in all white. And come find out, it was actually my wife's mother. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as service went on, I didn't know who she was. I didn't approach myself until after the service. But as service went on, um, I it was made that she was First Lady of the Shields. She was introduced in the service as First Lady of the Shields. By her husband, Pastor the Shields, my father-in-law now. And uh, he also spoke on his three children. One, a son who was on the drums. Uh, Brandon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he had two daughters. Mm -hmm. One was the eldest, which is Natasha. Yes. And then the middle child, uh, the daughter, which is my wife, Desiree. Mm -hmm. And my uh, t Natasha came up to sing first in minister. And then Desiree walked up. And it's the first time I'm laying eyes on her. And I see her coming up there. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, who is that? <laughs> who is that? And, you know, she got up there and she ministered. And at this time, I'm not saved. You know, I don't got the Holy Ghost. I ain't been baptized. So, well, actually, technically, I was baptized at nine. So, I take that back. I was baptized, but I was not yeah, baptized spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I wasn't born again just yet. Mm -hmm. But as I watched her worship, it kind of made me, honestly, at that point, want to consider like getting to know God a little bit more. Honestly, I was going to church, but I wasn't really interested as much, you know. But um, after meeting her after service and meeting her mom, our families formed this bond that, you know, we was just cool for many, many years. Yeah. And so she was three years older than me. She was 18. She was already saved deep in the Lord, deep in the ministry. I was just getting my feet wet. You know, I wasn't saved. I didn't get saved till I was 18, three years later. Um, but as time went on, we went through our separate experiences. She went through her relationships. I went through my relationship. And it was on and off for about six or seven years. And it started like the week after I got saved, you know, the week after I got the Holy Ghost. So, um, which wasn't necessarily the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, jumping into a relationship as soon as you get save because you got to learn the love of Christ to give it to the other person. So, but anyway, fast forwarding from that, 2016, 2016, 2016 yep. around her birthday, I decided I was going to give her a call on, on, uh, on her birthday. And I gave her a call saying happy birthday to her. And, you know, we just started talking for a little bit and it was on and off because I was a little, I was a little flaky, honestly, because mm -hmm. yes. honestly, I, honestly, <laughs> I was just, I, I couldn't get her out of my mind. Like, you know, I had this major accident that happened a couple months prior and 
when I got out of that hospital bed, you know, I kept saying, you know, it's just me and you, God, until the end. And that was just going to be it. Yeah. But, you know, I just kept hearing Desiree in my head, kept seeing her in my dreams and my visions. And I'm just like, what is it? What I, I always pray for her, but maybe I need to call her or something. So I just waited until her birthday, called her. And we were talking and just the fellowship was just so beautiful over the phone. And honestly, I didn't know I can talk to someone about God as passionately as I did with someone else and let alone a woman. So to me, it was just everything to me. And but then I I ghosted you for like two months. Yeah, you disappeared <laughs> out of nowhere, by the way. I, we were talking like from <laughs> February to like April and then she didn't hear nothing from me. Yeah. And then uh, it gets to June. My father was a new pastor, so um, they got to doing a fellowship June 11th, yes. 2016. It was a revival, a tent revival. It was a tent revival yeah. on the Eastern Shore. Mm-hmm. Her father was was hosting, and my father was the guest speaker. Yes. And this is my opportunity to finally lay eyes on the one who just really blew my mind at that time. And, you know, I was just excited. I texted her before mm-hmm. I got there. I said, I can't wait to see you. Sister and the Lord, you know. I was like, "Who is this?" And then I put two and two together, and I realized that it was Willie. So yeah, so yeah. you know, and then um, we went through the service. First off, she came. First off, she came, and she was like one of the last people there. I'm like, "What's going on? Why isn't she here?" <laughs> you know, I was a little anxious. I'm like, "Cause I just want to see her." You know, it's like, cause she doesn't know, but the conversations we had were so powerful, and it just impacted me in a way that I had to deal with some things on the inside that I realized I had to deal with speaking to her. So I dealt with those things. And now this is a time, this is our time, you know? So yeah. um, she comes and I finally give her a hug. I'm like, how are you? Give her a nice hug. And uh, we go through service. And before service starts, I'm, I'll never forget it. She was sitting three seats over to the left and one seat back. And I was sitting next to my mom and I just looked at my soon to be wife <laughs> <laughs> and the lord deals with me in vision like with, a lot of times he deals with me sometimes he'll speak well um, majority of times he deals with me in my vision mm-hmm. and with my vision when i looked at desiree at that given moment it was just like it was like dark all the way around her like and she it was like she lit up in my vision and she'll never understand it but i looked at her like yeah i was like why is he looking at me but I was in the days. So the Lord weird. had me in the days mm-hmm. looking at that. I'm like, and in that, just me seeing that, the Lord knew I needed to see that. And I said, this is my wife, isn't it? In my mind, I'm saying this. I ain't saying it out loud. And I told the Lord, I said, well, this is my wife, Lord. You reveal it to her. It's one thing I do not believe in. I do not believe in coming up to a woman mm-hmm. and saying, the Lord said, you my wife. I don't believe in that. <laughs> You know, because he's not a liar. If he's revealing, he's giving you revelation, he'll give her the revelation. It's not anything you need to do extra. You know, so um, service went on. It was a beautiful service. And uh, her father, my father-in-law, is a master chef. So we went in from the tent revival and we had hot dogs and burgers. Yes, we did. And, you know, as, you know, Desiree is just being herself, being her beautiful spirit itself, you know, I couldn't keep my eyes off of her. <laughs> and uh, she was taking selfies with everyone. I said, can I get a selfie? Yeah. And we got a selfie. Yeah. And that selfie is right there on our wall. We'll show you that at some given time. But that is the day, as she said. She gave that. You gave it to my birthday, right? Um. Yes. Right, that, that picture on the wall, she gave it to my well, birthday. Well, actually, I gave it to you on Christmas. It okay, was our it was... first Christmas that we had spent Okay, together. yeah, Christmas. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, probably that year, technically. It was the same year. Yeah, so six year. months later, she gave me that picture, and at the bottom it says, where our love began. And it's really true. That's really because that day, it's like our chemistry was mm-hmm. undeniable. It just, that the rest is history after Absolutely. that. And, it might um, sound cliche, but it's true. It's it true. Is. And as time went on, you know, I realized that I was developed, that there was some sort of, like something was different about Desiree. Like, I've dealt with different women. I've only had one serious relationship, but I've dealt with different women. But I was feeling something for my wife that I've never felt for any woman or any body. Mm -hmm. And it was just the love that was already, I felt like it was already planted in me before the beginning of time. Like God already had this love. And it just took me getting to this point in time and space. 
Like when I met my wife in that church, I knew that she was supposed to be some significant part of my life. I didn't know in what way. You know what I'm saying? If I knew I could have her sooner, I would have gotten her sooner. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. But, you know, I'm saying she's so beautiful. She's so in the church, so beautiful spirit, beautiful all the way around. Like, she didn't give me no time. You know, that's why I just I just played the brother role. She played the sister role, and that's just what it was. But, you know, six months later, I got down on one knee without a ring. And without I just, a ring, yes. <laughs> without a ring. And but I, I just... saw the potential, y'all. <laughs> See the potential. Without a ring, and I proposed to her, and, mm-hmm. you know, she said yes. Mm-hmm. You know, and I don't know if she knew I was being serious at the time, but I was just looking at her, and she was talking, and I just got down on one knee, and I just, whatever came to mind, came to mind, and it was... Yeah, I knew you were serious. I knew what was happening. I knew what was going on. I, I mean, because throughout the months, yes. you can feel like it's a merger going on. Like, I remember it was September, three months later, mm-hmm. before that, and mm-hmm. we... I said, so can I be your boyfriend? And she was like, I thought that's what we were doing. Absolutely. I was just like... Um... <laughs> because we never formally said that we were like... to, You know, it was kind of just like you didn't need to say it. You kind of just knew you were yeah. together. And you knew yeah. you already knew we were going towards something. So yeah. we were just letting it all happen organically and authentically. Mm-hmm. You know, so... Yeah. And um, we got engaged, you know... We got married in Jamaica yep. um, eight months later. Mm-hmm. Uh, three months prior to that, though, we did get legally married in May. A lot of people did not know. A lot of know. people didn't know for a whole <laughs> year. But we got legally married in mm-hmm. May at the courthouse, uh, May 22nd, 2017. Yes. The only witness that was there was, was my mother. Her mother. <laughs> and that's because we wanted to keep it completely private. Absolutely. The, like I said, the reason behind that was... We really didn't want to send sensitive documents overseas exactly. just to get married. Mm-hmm. And I understood that completely. So, mm-hmm. you know, we did that first. So it was technically a symbolic wedding. Yep. Um, but I told them not to tell everybody that it was symbolic. This is the real wedding now. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, yeah. It, so all in all, we dated for six months. Yes. Got engaged. Mm-hmm. Got married five months after that Mm -hmm. and had our wedding three months after that. Yep. Right. So, it's a little (laughs) bit of our story about how we met and how we got to be Mr. and Mrs. Bullock. Um, I will say 2005 when I met her, we hadn't already known each other 11 years before we started dating. So, you know, we knew of each other. We were, you know, we've had maybe conversations every so often you know Mm -hmm. i think i used to call you sometimes and say i'm gonna get you in the studio Mm -hmm. (laughs) because you know we're both ministers we can sing well ministers of music so Mm -hmm. um yeah that's just that's our story about how we met how we got to get married and see the beautiful uh mr and mrs bullock you know this bullock family and uh in our next vlog we're going to talk a little bit about marriage life Mm -hmm. and how ava came into the picture Yep. So, uh, stay mm-hmm. tuned. Yes. We got plenty more in store for you. And this channel is going to be filled with a lot of hope, a lot of inspiration. Absolutely. A lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, a lot of things that we've, advice that we've gathered along the way. Just from experiences along the right. way. So. And just really too, if there's any couples out there or anyone who's thinking about marriage or having kids, we're here for you. You know, we've had our support. And we have great support, so yeah. we're definitely going to um, just give that, share what we know, what we have. Yeah, and encourage you. Right. That you can make it through it. It's always great to have a support system, so. Always. And God, he will definitely bless you with those people, so. That's just right. Just wait on God, stay prayerful, and seek him, and he'll show you those things. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I am glad I'm sticking with my pick. Stick with your pick. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so blessed to have this woman in my life. I know. You know, we have ups and downs and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, we don't face the kind of things that a lot of these other couples are dealing with. Infidelity and all that other stuff. And yeah, thank God. Thank God, you know, because mm-hmm. we just see marriage as something different. And what is actual true essence is, according to God's eyes. So, you know, we just thank you for your time. Thank you for yeah. listening to us. Thank you. You know, if you're new, please subscribe. <laughs> uh, please like this video. Comment. Yeah. 
give us ideas. Click that notification bell. <laughs> yes, and when you subscribe, click the notification bell. So every time we that post we post video. a new video, you'll get a notification on your phone, email, whatever have you. So, you know, we want to keep them rolling. And share this with a friend. Share this yeah, with a family yeah. member. You know, because if also, too, if you want to laugh, because it's going to be some funny moments on this channel. I'm going to let you know right now. Mm -hmm. And one thing about us, we may be saved and, you know, Christians and spiritual and all that, mm -hmm. but we just real. We are real. We're down to earth and we know we're having, we have, we talk about the human experience too, and as well as being a Christian. So you're going to get, you want to get a full round of authenticity from us. So you have to worry about us being fake. This is who we are. All right. So, <laughs> and in Jesus name, we love you all. Yes, we do. All right. So, um, like I said, comment down below. Um, any um, video ideas you have or any questions you have or mm -hmm. any anything you may have that you would like to know about or like to know about us yes. or our family. Mm -hmm. Okay? God bless you. And we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>